Hey guys, I'm Rendon with TJ Free, and in this video, I want to share with you three of the best free video editors for beginners. These programs are completely free to download and use. They run on Windows, Linux, and Mac. And if you're just getting started with video editing, they're a great choice. These programs are Olive Video Editor, OpenShot, and Shotcut. I'm going to just show you very quickly an overview of what these are like. We'll just go through very quickly in this video. If you want to learn more, I have video tutorials here on this channel teaching how to use each one of these. We go in depth learning all the different tools and features, and we start from a very basic beginner level. So let's go take a look. This first one we'll look at is Olive Video Editor. Olive's a fairly new video editor, and it's still in active development. You can work with multiple audio and video tracks and also add images. You can apply filters and effects, and it has a nice, clean, intuitive, easy to use interface. You can do different transitions and do video slideshow. You have different zoom and pan effects. Uh, the effects are fairly limited right now as far as effects templates go, but you can create your own effects uh, using the custom user interface. You can apply different speeds to your track, so you can do a slow motion or a sped up video. You can reverse clips. You can work with green screen. Uh, and all of these different effects uh, work on all the video editors we're going to see today. Um, they all have good support for green screen and speed. You can work with um, text, so you can add in your own um, text layers, and you can animate how that text moves on the screen. Uh, you can also do some basic compositing or animation where you keyframe and have something move throughout your uh, video so it's a, at a different place at a different time. And you can control rotation and size and position. This next video editor is OpenShot. OpenShot's a great video editor with a nice clean interface. It has really easy to use timeline and different effects that you can just drag and drop. It's really big and bubbly, and I highly recommend this video editor for kids and students and people just getting started in video editing. I showed my daughter OpenShot, and here's a little video of her creating a basic video. After just a couple minutes of playing around, she seemed to have a pretty good feel of the interface and how to do things just by left-clicking and dragging and dropping and uh, moving things around. You can apply different effects, so you can also work with multiple tracks, multiple uh, video and audio. You can add music to your videos. And OpenShot does have some really good built-in effects and filters, more than the other programs that we're going to look at today. So it has some really good um, templates for creating these. You don't have to create them from scratch, which is nice. It also has a basic uh, chroma key feature built in. Uh, it's not incredibly professional, but it does work. You can control the uh, lighting and color of your video as well. With most video editors, you can build your own title screens and custom titles, but OpenShot has these built in already. They're just templates, so you can quickly choose these templates and then customize them without having to design a template from scratch. So a good program to look into. And the last one that we'll look at is Shotcut. Shotcut's a great video editor. It's what I'm using right now to edit this video, and it's what I've used for a long time for editing videos on my YouTube channel. It has good support for working with multiple clips as well. Everything that you can do in the other programs we've looked at, you can also do in Shotcut. So you can add titles, you can do different transitions, you can do color correcting, and almost everything in Shotcut is key frameable, which means you can adjust it as the video progresses. Uh, so this is maybe a little bit of a more advanced, but still has a very easy to use clean interface and is a good one, I would say. Even um, my six-year-old son uses this to edit video, you know, do basic video clips. Um, you can work with green screen as well and chroma key uh, in this program. You can uh, add music and do picture in picture and have good control over your image quality and size. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this video informative. Go ahead and leave questions and comments below if you have any. I have lots of other videos here on YouTube talking about free software and teaching how to use it. So I'm glad you found this channel and check out some of my other videos, and we'll catch you in the next one.